Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever in the world you might be watching. In a previous upload I demonstrated how to create a dashboard. A link to that particular video is in this screen and you can click it if you wish to open the training in a new window. Having created the dashboard there will be many times when you will wish to transfer the charts that you uh, have created to a Word document or a PowerPoint slide. This could be for analysis, uh, for a company department, uh, perhaps the HR department uh, would like to analyse the salaries for all of the staff or a selection of the staff and this video will demonstrate the procedure that you can use to link the particular uh, chart to a Word document or a PowerPoint slide uh, for that analysis and this is how it works. First of all we need to invoke the golden rule of all computing that is select then do. So what I'm going to do is to click on this chart and then right click and I'll copy the chart and then I'll go to my Word document and here I want to right click and I see the paste options available to me two of the options have little chains on the link chains so what I'm going to do is use this particular one to keep the source formatting and link the data so that any changes that I might make back in the data in Excel will be automatically reflected in your Word document so let's first of all paste the paste the chart so there is my chart now for example we'll see that Mary has a salary of $89,000. Back in Excel I'm going to go to the data tab and I'm going to change Mary's salary to 200000 just so it stands out. Now when I press enter and look at the dashboard I see that Mary's salary has been automatically increased of course but when I go to the Word document I see that that link has also increased Mary's salary there. Uh, the other salaries of course remain unchanged. So now we're going to undo that last action we'll control Z and we'll put Ma Mary back to where she was and one would hope that the Word document has also changed which I see that it has. So it's very very handy for salary analysis. The other beauty about Excel and dashboards and linking is that if I look at the dashboard and say I just want to analyse Greg's salary I see there that Greg's salary is showing to me uh, also there was a link to the days employed which we'll deal with uh, shortly but now when I go to Word down here I see that uh, Word has again automatically linked the data from the dashboard so it's extremely easy to analyze data uh, perhaps for a, a report that you need to print out whatever it might be. So back to the dashboard and I'm going to clear that filter so that I see everybody but let's suppose that I wanted to see Bill and Harry. I'll click on Bill hold down my control key and click on Harry and there I see Bill and Harry. One would hope that in Word that the uh, two of them now show again because the data was linked. Let's look at the day's employed analysis it works in exactly the same way so we'll go back to our dash I've removed the filter so let's look at the day's employed I can select the chart right click and copy, go to Word, we'll scroll down just a fraction and click here where I want the day's employed analysis. So again I click on the link and there we are. So now I can see the salaries and the day's employed uh, analysis and uh, it was all done through the correct linking of the uh, pasting situation into Word. So hopefully you would find this handy in an office situation or perhaps where you need to print out uh, 
uh, any chart that you might have created in uh, uh, in Microsoft uh, Excel in the dashboard let's look here I'm going to delete this chart and I'm going to uh, for uh, appearance sake I'm going to copy the salaries chart and here's a nice pie chart right click copy go to Word right click paste the link and there are my salaries you may need to uh, uh, just edit that a little bit in terms of the of the position uh, I see that it is uh, overwritten the uh, uh, the heading here so what we'll do now is to see how the pie chart changes back in the dashboard and I'm going to just look at we'll say Greg control key down and Mary and there they are and again you'll notice in Microsoft Word that the pie chart has updated so hopefully again you'll find this handy thank you so much for watching don't forget that practice is the name of the game and uh, also remember that if you're not certain how to create a uh, dashboard that the link uh, is again above in this particular video Thank you for watching. Bye for now.